Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about setting a user password to not expire in Office 365. Now I know we usually don't do Office 365 stuff here on Midnight DBA, but you know, this came up so I thought I'd throw it, uh, I thought I'd throw you a bone, right? Okay, so uh, I've got this support article here, article here that explains how to do this, so I thought I'd just walk you through it physically. and. I'm going to put in the support article as well as the two downloads here that you need to have in place uh, in the description of the video so that you can find them easily. But let's go ahead and do this. As a matter of fact, let me stop this right here. I'm going to close this window. So the first thing you have to do is you need to download the Microsoft Online Services Sign-In Assistant. So once you hit download there, you can just, I'm doing the 64-bit, so you check this right here and you hit next and it's going to download it. I've already installed it so I'm not going to do it again but it's very simple you just click on it after the install it runs through a very quick install and you're done. So next you need to install the Azure Active Directory connection and again uh, it's just a simple download so you come down here and you're not looking for the PDF right you're looking for the MSI so come down here download the MSI and install it again it's a very quick install and uh, it takes just you know less than a minute and once that happens then you're up and running and you're ready to be able to set your password to not expire in office 365 now why am i doing this in powershell because currently there is no way to do it through the admin uh, console in office 365 you have to go through uh, the PowerShell commandlets. So in order to do that I'm going to right click on PowerShell and you have to run this as an admin in order to make it happen. There we go. So the first thing you need to do is actually connect to Office 365 and to do that you just run the commandlet oops sorry I need to be in this window connect msol service and that's going to bring up a sign-in window and you need to type in whatever you use to sign in to Office 365 there we go sign in good now I'm signed in okay now I'm signed in alright now I need to get a list of users so uh, to get a list of users you just call get msol user so let's say get and I, again it's not case sensitive I'm just doing that for you guys so if I do that I'm gonna get this whole list of, of users now I'm gonna expand this window a little bit and I've I'm obscuring this after the fact so because I've got uh, some of my email accounts in there and some other people's email accounts in there some some uh, customer contact email accounts in there that uh, you know I don't really want to reveal to the world but what is notable here is that is licensed so you can see that some of these belong to my company right and some of them don't right so all of these falses right so what I want to do is I want to boil this down to just the ones that are in my company so I want to select where is licensed equals true so to do that here let's go ahead and clear the screen and we'll say <clears throat> get msol user and I'm going to pipe that to aware and I'm going to say where is licensed equals true there we go and now I can see that I've got just the ones that belong to me now I want to see whether any of these have their uh, password never expire set or not so let's go ahead and expand this a little bit and let's pipe that to a format table and then in that format table let's get the, f the user principal name and user password ne or password never expires and to that, and I can see here that they all have uh, password never expire set to true. That's because I just did that just before this video. 
So let's go ahead and set them to false and then set them to true, right? So what we need to do here is we need to call get msol user. And I'm going to call this for just one of them, right? So right here I've got get msol user. I'm sorry, I need to call set msol user. So I'm going to call set msol user. And I'm going to call it with user principal name of Sean at midnightdba.com. And I want to say password. Oops. Never expires. And set that to false. There we go. So I have set that for that one, right? So now when I go back in here and look at my list, you can see that this one is set to false. So all you need to do is call set msol user, pass it the principal name, and then pass it the flag of password never expires equals false, and then call get msol, I mean, set msol user and then get msol user, right? So I'm, I'm using this one to, to check and I'm using this one to set it. So that's setting one. Let's go ahead and set them all, right? It's the it's the same thing, really. All I need to do is call the get and the set in the same thing, in the same command. So I have actually typed this out. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to type the entire thing out right now, but I will explain it to you. So let me go ahead and grab this up here. There we go. Now I'll. Get this guy here if I can get these things to quit coming up on me there we go there we go so now here's what I'm doing so I start off by getting msol user where is licensed equals true we've already seen that now for each one of those I'm gonna call set msol user and I'm gonna pass it the user principal name and the current user principal name that's in the loop this isn't a PowerShell basics session, so you should understand how to how a basic loop works. And then I'm going to set password never expires equal to true, except in this one, I'm going to set them all to false. And then that'll only take a couple seconds. There we go. And now if I go back up there and view these guys with my get, you can see that now they're set all to false. Now let's go back up and set them all to true again, because that's what I really want. There we go. And now if I take a look at that one more time, you can see they're all set to true. And that is how you set a user password to never expire in Office 365. I hope this helps.